So here we are up underneath it, scraping everything out. We've only found two dead animals so far. But we'll just keep going till we get it all out of there and get it all cleaned up. And then we'll start rolling out plastic. <laughs> and after we get the plastic, then we'll slide up under there um, and start putting the... Uh, start putting the uh, insulation and all in. So there's no need to slide up under there now and put insulation because we'll uh, we'll be all in the dirt. So we might as well get the plastic down and then start putting down the insulation. It'll make it a lot easier on all of us. So that's what we do. I guess I'm pointing at the house instead of underneath the trailer. So they're cleaning this corner first and they're just gonna go all the way down. We done cleaned up all the plastic and all that was out here. We put it behind the truck over here. So. Okay, y'all. We got it out here. We got the back of it cleaned out. So we're going to go up under here and we're going to rake all this out. Okay, you can see that wall from the back side there. So we're going to rake all this out and then we're going to put plastic over all of it. And then we're going to go up in here and fix these holes in the belly. So that's what we're doing now. We're going to rake it all out and then we're going to clean it, clean it all out. I got more insulation in the truck. We'll put insulation under it or up in the holes where they've cut holes all in the bottom of this belly for some reason. But I've got new actual belly uh, plastic, whatever that plastic is. That's not regular plastic. So don't go in there and use regular trash bags or whatever. You can't do that. It has to be the, the specific plastic for it. We'll show you that when we get to it. But that's how these houses are put up. You can see the piers on it. They put piers every so often at the doors. They come out to the edge and uh, re... I guess that whatever you want to call that. They uh, support it better. But our bricks go right up underneath the edge. So our bricks is going to be right up underneath the edge of this thing. So it will be holding also. I'm going to put a nail in there trying to hold that back. That don't work. But anyway, we got to get all this cleaned up. We're going to dig these trees out, get them in the fire, get them all done. We got the deck moved out of the way. We'll reinforce that deck and put it back, uh, get it where we want it, leveled up put it back in there but as of right now we're going to uh we're just going to rake all this out get it all clean we'll pile up all this trash um i don't want to put it on my trailer right yet because i got my trailer full of concrete and sand for the mortar by the end of the day if we get all this concrete off the truck i might dump dump the trailer and uh put that stuff on there i don't know yet but we'll find out so that's what it looks like we'll back up and give you a little better view there underneath it basically the sewer from this side runs down to a central location and the sewer from that side runs down and then it runs out to our septic tank so we ain't got much to do here maybe uh i don't know maybe half a day's worth cleaning here and and uh, raking and doing and getting all this together. And then we'll uh, we'll see what we can do with it. As we go, we're flattening it out here. Getting it nice and flat. So all the humps and bumps and dumps and all that stuff, we try to flatten all that out, get it smooth in there. So we're getting it. You see when you look in there it's like there's a big dip there they'll have it all out when they get done here we'll try to get it you know as flat as possible under there so you don't have a bunch of ups and downs and the air getting underneath your plastic and all that stuff we'll pin the plastic down real good this evening um i got sod staples i'll show that in a little bit but we've got staples to hold it down and yada 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 we'll put a little bricks here and there on it to hold it make sure it don't go nowhere till we get our uh, till we get our other wall up here 
once we get our other wall we don't have nothing to worry about but since we got three sides in it's going to be hard for wind to get up under there right now so there's a bunch of leaves and stuff that blew in over the time it's been here um so we're getting all that out and i'm running it all through my processing barrel there so we're processing it all out and getting rid of most of it i better get that fire stomped out that's beside my processing barrel don't want one of them again thought i had one of those episodes we don't need another one so basically getting it all burnt up so we uh we burn as much as we can get rid of it there uh there's a stump i gotta get in there i'm probably gonna do it at the end of the day i do have a grate to put over it so it will stop most of the embers from getting out so we keep one of those around and that's how we get rid of a lot of our trash not trash but burnable goods wood we're not gonna burn none of this um but i might burn all of that because it's wood so i'm using a burn barrel just because all this grass is so dry it will uh try to get away from us we had a little fire over there yesterday and uh you had to babysit it all day long we'll burst we'll basically burn about a eight or ten foot ring all the way around that barrel and then we'll be good but how we do it around here on this particular one the last one we had a big burn pit on go back and look at that video if you hadn't seen that one already see why he's under there he's back filling that wall too where they dug out there's plenty of uh plenty of stuff to backfill with so but we'll go up under and fix it here in a little bit and i'll show you that how we do all that so Basically, you want to get as many holes filled up as you possibly can under these things because the air is uh, is what's killing you. If air comes through there, it's uh, cold air or warm air or whatever. It's causing your heating and cooling bill to go skyrocket. So we'll, uh, we're going to put two doors. We're going to put one here somewhere because the AC is going to sit right here because that's the disconnect. So the AC will be right here somewhere. So we'll put one here and then we'll put one down there because that's where the water is. So we'll put two doors in it. We normally don't, but this one we will just because of that. And I'm stuck. I'm down on the ground. I can't get up, but that's how it ends up being. Okay, yo, we got it cleaned up on all the crashes out here all the way across. We did have to... Uh, move a few things but we got it everything's clean everything's good now we're gonna uh, we're gonna come over here and if well, i probably didn't mention it in the other one this is my water line coming out of the house so all my water comes to right here this every bit of my water my water line's over there so we got a trencher line in here underneath this house to get this to hook to that so that's going to be next we'll trench that in looks like we need a little more insulation in there but we'll get all this trenched in and then we'll start fixing holes holes in the underbelly um like right there there's a big one that's for the hot water tank and the uh hot water tank and the uh, power service power this one here is for the water. Uh, use only heat tape. <laughs> this is for the water line here. This whole big ass hole, hole here is just for the water line to come in. So we got to get it fixed. Um, then like there's a big hole up there and there's two, two or three big holes up there. We've got to go up under there and fix all those. So we'll be crawling around under this thing just about all day fixing holes in the belly and this material is a special material it's not uh, you look at it and think it's plastic it's not it's some kind of special plastic i mean it is a type of plastic but it's a special plastic you look at the other side of it and it's uh 
it's got like a uh, reflective on the top side so they've cleaned it all up got it all spread and got it all leveled best they could so we're going to uh, get under here and pull it all out and see what we can do with it get it all the best we can get it here start laying plastic out but there's another look we'll get this water line trenched in okay y'all we're digging this trench in trying to get to the uh the water line over here they're using a little toy shovel because the uh the handle the short handle there that was the best we could find people we was trying to find one of the military uh, uh like uh collapsible shovels but we couldn't find one okay y'all we've got the plastic down on the front half all the way down um we ran out of plastic i thought i had a full roll and i did not i only had a partial roll and uh so we've got that done got that much of it done now we're going to uh we're going to start working on these holes up top so we're putting insulation in and we're putting uh we're duct taping them where they need to be duct taped and we're putting uh uh putting insulation duct tape and where it don't need duct where it needs more than duct tape we've got the uh i've got more of this underbelly fabric plastic whatever you want to call it this seems a little different um uh, this seems, uh, this stuff is not breathable. The stuff I've got is breathable, so. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll get it under here. It's actual mobile home belly, belly material. Um, it's designed just for that, so. The stuff that I've got. Um, this stuff looks like it's a little different, but we're still gonna use it. And yes, I'm, I'm pretty deep under here. So, I'm, I'm a good six, eight foot under the trailer. Under the mobile home down there. I think we're going to start down there and come this way. Start getting everything and just keep coming this way and see what we can get finished. Okay, y'all. We're under here fighting this stuff. Trying to get these holes patched up. We put some little bit of insulation in there. We're trying to uh, figure out what we're doing here. We're coming in here. We're stapling some of it up with these roofing nails. Trying to get a little bit of this shit spread out. Trying to get a little bit of this spread out to get it to uh, cover up some of these holes. So we're basically putting a patch over it is what's what's going on here. This stuff is four foot wide and uh They're cutting it down. That stuff is extremely expensive. It's like uh Would be a uh, hundred. Hmm. It's something like two dollars a square foot or something. It's just crazy money. Amen. But. Si lo lo echas el tape todo lo haría primero, después nos subimos y ya se lo pegamos. The best we found we can do with it. 
it's not that fun at all. But, you know. No mama's way. Hey, break it. No bueno. Let's sit to the sozo. Basically, it's got two water lines there for some reason. I don't know why they're there, but uh, oh, that's where we're in the back bedroom. They had a uh, they had extra water lines there for some reason. But we'll get it. We're gonna get that cut off, and then we'll uh, we'll fix it up here. That'll take care of it. Oh, it does. No, the Nuevo, solamente the vehitos. No, I'm going to put it in the middle. Here. One way to do plumbing from the bottom of the, the house. Watch your little vehicles, yeah. yeah. Oh, Simone way. No. Más para acá. And then we just have to repeat this process maybe 20 more times. And we'll be done under here. And you see that stuff hanging everywhere. So we've got to go around and get it all put up. They've got this looking good. There's the back side of the wall that we built. There's the back side of the front wall that we built. We have left the back open for now. So we can get in here and do this. Get our plastic down and get everything done. Get it all good. All that for one little hole because somebody decided they was gonna cut a hole in the plastic for no reason. And yes, you could leave that, but if you leave it, you get air infiltration up there. You'll freeze the pipe, hmm? bust the pipe. You'll, uh, you'll have all kinds of little problems of air coming up underneath the, uh, the, uh, laboratory inside because that's right up underneath the bathroom there. 
you'll have all kinds of little area issues. So best thing to do is just go up under here and fix them, straighten them all up, be done with it, and uh, you know, make it look decent. So we're gonna start on that one now. Do that one, and then do another one, and then another one, and then another one. It's just kind of a pain in the butt, but we'll do it. Okay, y'all. Finishing up the plastic under it. Plastic laid out. One around all the, one around all the piers. One around the uh, anchor. Got it pinned down. We're using fabric pins, but they're actually uh, like a staple. That he's putting on here. This is the big staple you put in. It. They're designed to hold down sod and uh, like a landscape fabric. But we're using them under here to keep the wind from blowing it away. And it seems to be working pretty good. We didn't have any problems with... Uh, we've got wind right now. You can see down there it's blowing a little bit. But it's not picking it up and pushing it all the way back. You can see that down there blowing around pretty good. That piece of plastic. But <clears throat> we're uh, stapling it down. We ain't got nothing. We ain't, it ain't going nowhere. So we ain't had any problems. We had 40 mile an hour winds the last two days and it didn't blow all the stuff we left. We left, you can kind of tell the difference in plastic there. We left that up there um, last week and it didn't blow it away. So we're good. We be good to go. Set plastic over there blowing all over the place. But we're back to finish it up and uh, looks like the boys got it finished. And people take that as a derogatory term. I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to be a butthole calling them boys. They're men, but they're my buddies. So that's what we say around here. Um, somebody got their panties all in a wad last time I said that. So, you know, if you got a problem with it, uh, evidently you ain't got no friends. So that's the way we do it around here. I've always said that so okay y'all we're up under here this is where the big hole was the big bad hole see it's crazy hole here I don't know why somebody split it that bad but they did so we're running all of our water pipes and everything down here and the power, everything comes underneath here. You see the mold water lines, they did the same thing. So basically we're putting our insulation right back up there where they had their insulation that some somebody or something has already taken out. This is the worst hole here. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight floor joists is uncovered. This is about uh, maybe um, them battings are eight foot wide and they're having to double them up. So something like uh, probably 12, 14 foot wide they're working with there. But that's how it's done. You just uh, just run the stuff back up in there the best you can, just like they had it. And uh, then we're gonna cover it up. We've got some of this plastic here. We'll uh, also tape it up the best we can, and we'll put a nail here or there to hold it. And our plumbing pipes there, you see that we've got insulation pipe on those, so we'll push those together and make sure they're taped off and all that good stuff and get it done. One of them's hot, one of them's cold. I don't remember which is which, but it, uh, it turned out that way. We ran out of water lines, so we put, uh, we put two reds because we ran out of the blue. So we use that, we use what you got. Bring, run what you bring, is that what they used to tell me. So they're coming in with the nails, we're gonna try to nail it up, tack it up a little bit, and get it, get it the best we can. And then we got some pieces of uh, this same plastic to put up there. But it is negative three degrees today. We're out here working uh, the windshield and my, hand is getting cold outside of my glove so i'm gonna shut this thing off and uh help these boys get this finished up so let's 
why we're looks like we're a bonable snowman. It's because it is very cold today. Extremely cold. So anyway, that's what we got going on. We're cutting insulation, putting insulation, taping it up. We'll come back when we get done here and uh, show you how it looks after the fact. Okay, y'all, look at this. I'm taking the straps from the brick, cutting them to length, then flipping them up and making them holding pipes up in place. And the cables and all that good stuff. T50 stapler. Flipping it up, cutting them. Let me see this one pretty good. So I cut that piece off. Oh, yeah. We'll see what he's doing here in a minute. I ran out of staples. <laughs> See how he done it. Looking good. We'll come back when they get it all together and let you see it. Okay, y'all. Here we go. This is the same spot. We got it up. We got to tape that. But like I say, it's, it's extremely cold and our tape ain't working. So we'll come back and tape that when it gets hot. But that's what it looks like there. We got it all tacked up. Got all the air off of all that stuff. Looks a hundred times better. You can see what it looked like down there normally. So we're looking better. Better and better and better. The big hole is gone, so we should be good. Well, Donnie, it looks pretty good. It looks nice and dry under there. It's been raining this week. Yep, looks good. A little bit of mud or sand tracked on it, but uh, you got it all in there. Yep. A lot of work. That was a pain, but it's done. We got it. Every little piece. We had to piece <laughs> it in there a little bit towards the end, but we got it all in. Mm -hmm. I ain't going under there. <laughs> But nice and dry, I think we're good. Yeah, if y'all like what you see, give us a thumbs up for filming it. Subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already, and we'll catch you on the next one.